was thinking about heading down to that logging camp, clear out those nests. I've been seeing more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the nests, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out.
Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Come on, Alice. I gotta warm you up. Tucker to Deacon St. John, are you listening? I talked to al the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, goddamn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? This place is a death trap. Getting kind of cold out of here. Thought I'd help you out. Is that the last of them?
Ah, uh, what the... Oh, Jesus, ah. Uh. Better have a look around, Deke. This infestation zone. You've been up here, huh? Setting the bamboos, hit supply runs. refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted 
on to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, babe. I, uh, I cleaned them out. They won't be bothering you no more. Uh, hey, me again. I'm going to tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to go away like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey, come on. Oh, me. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. <laughs> yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning something. <laughs> How are you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little... This little kid. This... This goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You don't want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Let's see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. My little sister, you know. Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Mm. I've been cut my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Uh, come on. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Oh, sir. Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Do anything. Do anything. Do anything. Do anything. We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. 
Listen up, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. <coughs> Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <coughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. You, uh, you rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, and I know, yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh, just like I said, I'll be back. Boozer, another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to.
anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. Shining the spotlight of truth on the world. Truth is, I've seen it coming. Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. All of us had spoken up. None of us would have. Tell you one thing. It won't happen again. This is Mark Cooper for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you're right about one thing, Cope. <laughs> Deer crossing, wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. Scrap. can do.
to. Fuck! I just leave it. All right, I'm just out hunting, freaks, boozer. You got that? Bounties. That's the only reason that I go up. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Here with that little shit that's mine. What the oh shit. Can use this. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here. Shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No, not... I... I... I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. 
I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I know what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um... I don't know, some... I don't know where I Road am. 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Out here, it's big bad dog. biker, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. Now you like that Smart bike, boy? Way to do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Are you? <laughs> uh, you don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, oh. yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How Come about on. that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Hold up, hold up. Roll, goddammit! Roll! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. 
No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, I, no, no. I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, it's I, I right. saw that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? 